Do the infrared bulbs on the LifeX Plus bulbs actually work? In short, they do, but if you're like me, um, I want to know how well. And that's what we're gonna find out. I've been using the Singler bulb for several months now. Um, I've got a bunch of other LifeX regular bulbs that I've installed in my home office, and these things are pretty awesome. I'm a big fan of them. If you want to know the full story, I've got a full review for both these. But onto the infrared lights, the two questions that I really wanted to know was, well, the first one was, does it actually work? And the second one was, what is the range of the uh, infrared LEDs for this light? Uh, LifeX doesn't have any sort of spec for it on their spec sheet, so this was something I had to go figure out for myself. So here's what I did. I found the darkest room in my house at two in the afternoon, which was the ba basement bathroom. I taped up all the infrared LEDs on my D-Link Omna. I initially thought that just covering up the little red dots would uh, suffice, but apparently the Omna illuminates IR through everything that isn't silver right around the uh, camera lens. So I, again, had to cover most of it up. After that, I installed the LifeX Plus bulb in the bathroom. And the only way to tell if the bulb is a plus version is to look for the eye symbol on the specific light bulb in the app. Now, once everything was in the bathroom, I shut the door and turned off the light. Now, I wasn't surprised at the fact that the infrared light worked. As you can see on the D-Link Omni feed, you can see the light bulb. I was surprised at how I felt because it was kind of unnerving to be in a bathroom that's perfectly dark, though the Omni could see stuff that I couldn't see. So that was actually kind of, it was really, in a way it was really spooky because while well, like there's this light, infrared light shining basically at waist height, the Omna seeing all of this and I'm just basically doing this in, these, in the really dark bathroom. So in short, does the infrared LED work? Yeah, you know, it does, it totally does. But I guess the second question now is, what is the range? Now, if this is the first time you're watching my videos, do I do encourage you to click subscribe. I produce a ton of content. I've got a comparison of these LifeX bulbs against the Philip Hue ones as well, so do check that out. But with the range, this is what I did. I had to turn my basement into an even darker dungeon by garbage bagging all the tiny windows. I set up the LifeX bulb as far as way, uh, away from the Omni as possible, turned off all the lights and noted how far the light reached. Again, I spent a few minutes walking in complete darkness to get back to the, <laughs> to the lights in the other part of the basement. And the moment I found an iPhone with an Omni app, I was able to generally see what was going on in the back room. I can kind of see Monty's shadow. Now this wasn't surprising to me, but what was surprising to me was the range. I marked where the reflection from the light disappeared. The distance between that point and the Life X Plus light was approximately 20 something feet. So that's kind of handy information. You know, the D-Link Omna has a night vision range of about 16 feet. The uh, Nest Cam IQ back there and the Nest Cam indoor that you can't see, um, that has a night vision range of about 20 feet as well. So with the Life X, um, you can add about an extra 40 feet in a completely dark room, which is quite significant in my opinion, because you're basically tripling the range of a, a Nest Cam camera with a single LifeX Plus bulb, even though this thing is 90 bucks, it's pretty expensive. Uh, so it's good to know, useful information I think. Uh, if this video was, you oh, one more thing. The most surprising thing to me with the D-Link Omna was how sensitive the center was. Now, when it's complete darkness, it does not, it's not gonna pick anything up. But I was actually really surprised to look at the peripheral um, reflections. It was able to pick that out pretty quickly. And even in that kind of dead spot between, there was about six feet between the end of the reflection and the Omna, when I was walking in front of it, um, the video was still able to capture me you could kind of see me in it. So, um, kind of surprising. I was expecting it to be, to be completely black, but that's not the case. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If it's the first time you're watching one of my videos, again, click subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we're done. Uh, you're not a team player anymore, are you?